Alrighty, this is hopefully just going to be a quick video, um, kind of an update or addition, I guess, to the icon video I did yesterday. Yesterday's video right, covered um, icon swapping or replacing, um, which overwrote existing icons that are in game. So, for example, yesterday the video covered um, adding a new icon in place of the heater shield icon. Um, in the event that you don't want to cover up something that's already in the game because you have actually added a new item to the game rather than replacing something uh, if you don't know how to do that already i will make a video covering that but this is just kind of for icons while we're on icons um so in my discord um which i recommend you join actually i just started a giveaway of three Elden Ring game keys that ends, I believe, yeah, April 27th at 2.32 p.m. Um, Pacific time. So if you want in on that, join, click the react button there for the uh, ta-da, it'll automatically enter you. So sub and join, hang out, that kind of thing. But uh, another great thing in here is I went into my community guides tab here and I uh, actually recorded all of the icons that are from cut content or unused content in the game so those are all icons that can be safely replaced and it doesn't overwrite anything in the game so um, for the sake of this guide I'm just going to use uh, double O three six two because I actually already did this once just to make sure that I was doing it right with O three six one there so um, We'll just get that right out of the way now. So I have Photoshop, um, which honestly I just recommend. There are ways to get Photoshop, cough, cough. Yeah. Um, and then there are some add-ons to it for DDS uh, file types. I will just link all of that stuff. But um, if you haven't watched my other video on icons, I honestly just recommend doing that really quick or doing a brief skim of it just because it kind of covers setup and things like that that you might need or want to know because I'm not going to cover all of that in this because this is kind of an addition to that video. So sorry if that wastes a few minutes of your precious time or something. Um, so here we are in the menu folder of the game directory. I actually copied that from the game directory into my mod folder as to not overwrite anything in the actual game directory in the event I break something or whatever, or I need to restore it much easier that way. Um, so you would go into menu and then we're just gonna go into high cause this is the high resolution um, icons and things. We're gonna open that up and then we're going to open up solo and common if you don't have those two folders is because you just need to unpack them right here uh, you can unpack common and then solo tpf bhd both of those just right on the yabber there um so we're going to start with solo here because why not just kind of want to nail down 00362 real quick and that's gonna be pretty quick here so i'm actually just gonna scroll to it rather than type it in so there it is right there i'm just gonna double click it because that'll open it for me or unpack it because i have that bound so we're gonna just open that up with photoshop here so this is what we're seeing it's the icon of one of the i want to say banished knights um but that's unused currently that's that's cut content that may not ever see its way into the game so for right now it's safe to get rid of um that will be right here so this is icon one dds i'm actually going to just close that and show you how i got that one out real quick um because that might help you so that one is located in the common tpf so um you've got the actual in-game icons for stuff that'll show up on your hot bar and in your menus, and that is icon or SB icon zero through six right here. So it's all of these. Um, the way that you can identify what one you need to replace is by opening up the menu knowledge one from uh, solo, take a gander at it, and then peruse 
through some of these. Um, so in our case, I want to say that this one is going to be one again. So I'm just going to open that up here just to double check. And then I'm going to zoom in over here to kind of nail that down. So this is a little bit more um, involved in some of my other guides, maybe just because I kind of want you to see my thought process and how I'm doing it because finding icons is kind of annoying if you don't already know what you're doing. So I apologize for that. But um, as you can see right here, the handsome little dude right there, we'll zoom in so you can see this. that's him. And that's the one we opened. So you can see that this icon right here is 362. So that's the icon ID is 362. So I'm going to replace that with the shield here uh, just for ease of use. I'm going to go ahead and delete that easy peasy there. And then I'm actually going to grab the icon that I wanted to replace with. I'm going to shrink it down kind of like we did in my other video. And I'm going to try to get it placed in there in some sort of a even fashion, something like that. That seems like it's probably fine for the sake of our video here. Um, and then now that that is placed, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to save, save as, and then we want to save it as just DDS, not Intel. For some reason, if you save it as Intel TextureWorks DDS, it just breaks the in-game icons. So you want to do just DDS. I have the add-on in my Discord server. I'll also have a link for it. Um, if you can't download it from the link, it's probably normal. It's kind of busted. So I would recommend just getting it from the Discord. So we're just going to save it as that and then not change any of that, just leave that default. And then so that will have saved right here. It's going to save it as the copy, I want to say here. So we're going to open both of them and just compare just to make sure. Yep, so the copy is the one that we want to keep. We're going to go ahead and delete the old one because we've just made a new one here. And then I'm going to rename it. Get rid of that copy so the game knows what it's looking for. It's looking for SPI icon specifically. So if you change the name, you're going to break it. Um, so what we'll do now is we will go into Yapt and the shield that I had replaced with the Crest Shield model is the heater shield. Um, so we're going to go in and change the icon ID. Right now it's set to 361, which was the one I just did as a test run for myself before doing this. And the one we just did is 362. So we're just going to Change that to 362, file, save. And then we can just minimize that pretty safely here. And then we will go ahead and back up out of here. We need to go ahead and repack the common TPF here. So I'm gonna move that off of the screen there. So, or out of the folder there. So I can back it up to its previous version if I want it. It doesn't really matter though. And then I'm going to repack this with Yabber. Takes a while because it's a pretty big folder. Um, so now that's repacked, that's all good and well. We don't need to do anything with um, the menu knowledge stuff. I just use that to locate and actually track down what I'm looking for. Um, make sure that I'm actually replacing the right stuff. So now that's repacked, we will actually just go ahead and launch the game really quick like. And then I will hope that it didn't break anything, but I can't imagine that it did. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Yep, so you can see down on the bottom left there, the icon is in fact swapped with the crest shield, um, it's swapped in the menu. It's a little bit off to the right, but that's just because I very lazily placed it when I added it. So I apologize or I don't apologize or whatever, but um, that's a pretty easy fix. That's just moving it and making it a little bit more pretty. But um, this concept should 
apply to just about any icon that you want to swap or do or edit or anything like that. So um, hopefully that was helpful. Um, I will kind of try to follow up this video with um, a guide for custom text and descriptions and all of that stuff for new items and then the actual process of adding a new item without overwriting anything that's already in the game just completely new item um, and then kind of some options for how to get said new item since there's not going to be any organic way to get it uh, in vanilla means at least because it wasn't in the game before so um hope that helps like and subscribe if it is or isn't let me know i will catch you later